Hello. I'm going to share a book with you today called Your Mind is Like the Sky. And it's a first book of mindfulness by Bronwyn Ballard and Laura Carlin. Your mind is like the sky. Sometimes it's clear and blue. Sometimes it's fizzy and stormy and black and crackly. Your thoughts are like the clouds. Nice, white, fluffy cloud thoughts like, look what I can do. Or, I love cycling. Or, that was a good day. And darker, meaner rain cloud thoughts like, I'm no good at this. Or, I'll never get this right. Or even, I'm useless. Thoughts come and go for all of us all the time. Half the time, they've been and gone before you've even really noticed. The trouble with rain cloud thoughts is that they're dark and a bit mysterious and they can make everything else seem dark too. Without you even noticing, they can make you feel cross or jumpy or sad and confused. So what do we do about rain clouds? You can go exploring. Some people get right inside their rain cloud thoughts and rummage around. They think if they can get right to the bottom of their rain cloud thought, they can figure out how to get rid of it. The problem is, when you're inside a rain cloud, the cloud looks big, really, really big. And it's hard to see anything else. You could try fighting, but as you'll know, if you've ever fought a rain cloud, all that happens is you get a bit damp. You could pretend the rain cloud isn't even there. You could skip about and laugh and tell everyone how happy you are. Sometimes this works and the rain cloud floats off. But if it's a big, dark rain cloud thought, it's probably best to put your wellies on. Or you could try this clever trick. When a rain cloud thought comes into your head, you say, oh, it's just a rain cloud thought. And then you notice all the white fluffy cloud thoughts as well. You notice the blueness of the sky and the tweeting of the birds. You remember that the rain cloud thought is just one thought among hundreds and thousands of your thoughts. And you can just let the rain cloud thought float gently away. There it goes. The trick is to see the whole sky. It takes a bit of practice to look inside your head, but if you just stop every now and then, you'll begin to notice that there are big shouting thoughts and little whispering ones. Fast racing thoughts and gentle creeping ones. And that you can choose which thoughts to pay attention to. Your mind is like the sky. It's full of thoughts of different shapes, sizes and colours. It's 
full of amazing things. There we go. And there's some little ideas in the back of this book about how you can deal with those rain clouds. So let's have a little look at these. Every now and then, take a moment to notice what's going on in your head, heart and body. You can sit down and close your eyes to do this, or you can do it while you're cleaning your teeth or taking a walk. Anything which doesn't require too much concentration. All you have to do is notice your thoughts and feelings in a way which is kind and accepting. Is your mind clear and blue or stormy and crackly? Are there lots of thoughts fizzing about in there or is it moving slowly? Have your thoughts been like that all day or have they just changed? Whatever you find is fine. Isn't it amazing how different thoughts can be? Notice any fluffy th cloud thoughts. Humans have evolved to notice the negative more than the positive. It keeps them safe in many ways, but it also means our good thoughts tend to drift off without us even noticing them. It's a shame because positive feelings aren't just nice, they're good for our health and our relationships. So when you notice a positive thought, pay attention to it. Where did it come from? How does it make you feel? Watch those feelings travel around your body and let yourself enjoy them. Notice any rain cloud thoughts. We all have more difficult thoughts from time to time. If we try to ignore or solve them, they can expand and become overwhelming. Instead of diving into a rain cloud thought, begin by noticing it's there. Is it a big dark thought or just a small grey one? Have you seen it before or is it new? What sort of feelings does it bring with it? Remember that this thought won't be here forever. We don't have the power to banish our rain cloud thoughts, but we can let children know that sadness comes and goes, and that they're they are stronger than they think and that no matter what, we love them. There we go. Well, I hope that book makes you have some thoughts about your own thoughts and about how you can help yourself to feel happy and positive. Okay, bye for now.